Hello, now I'm going to show you how to take that XML file that you downloaded from CJ Affiliate and import into WooCommerce using WP All Import. Once you have logged into the WordPress dashboard, go to All Import and select New Import. Now select the file that you downloaded from CJ Affiliate. And when the upload is complete, click on Next. Then in step two, just scroll down and click on next again. Now in step three is where you're going to build your template for each of the individual product pages. So in the title, click and drag the name into that field. And for the post content, you're going to use the description. So click and drag that into the post content and then scroll down and click on Next. All right, now in step four, click on the WooCommerce Products tab. Now, since you're importing an affiliate file, you're gonna change the product type to external affiliate product. The first thing on the list here under the general tab is the SKU. So let's look in the file if we can find the SKU and we'll click and drag that there. And then we'll take the buy URL and put that into the product URL field. Now we want to add the regular price. So we'll look through the file and add price. And if there was a sale price in this file, we could also use that and put that into the sale price field. If that was the case, then WooCommerce would simply use the lower price. Now let's scroll down and add the product categories. So when we look through the file, advertiser category is the element that we're looking for. So we can just add that to product categories. Now, before we move on, I just want to point out something really quickly. In this file, the category is split by primary category and subcategory, in this case, T pouches and then bulk pouches. And then there's a separator, which is the uh, greater than sign. So instead of grouping this into just one big category, we can actually pick out the subcategories by using the auto nest function. So under product categories, click on enable auto nest and the characters that you want each category to be separated by are the is the greater sign. So you just put that in there. So now when WP all import brings in your data, it will also parse out the subcategories. Now we also want to get the images for each product. So we're going to go to featured image and media gallery, click on the download images box and add the image URL. And as we scroll down a little further, we can see the link cloaking add on. And if you have this installed, it will allow you to cloak all your affiliate links. So that has been selected here. Then we'll scroll down all the way to the bottom and then click on finish. And now WP all import will start importing all of those products. Once the import is complete, you can go to your products tab and take a look at all of the products that WP all import has imported for you. As you can see, all of these products were set up and you didn't have to do it manually. Now let's take a look at one of these products in particular just to make sure that the data was pulled in correctly. So we're going to look at this chrysanthemum silver tea tin as an example. And the title got pulled in correctly. It pulled in the picture, the product description, the SKU. And as you can see, the categories were separated. And if you look at the breadcrumb at the top of the page, it put them in the correct category and subcategory. And when you put your mouse over the buy product button, you can see the cloaked URL in the lower left corner. So everything looks good, but there's one small little detail that's off here and that's the price. So we want to change the price from being displayed in British pounds to US dollars. So in order to do that, we have to go back to WooCommerce and go into the settings and change the currency option to US dollars. 
then scroll to the bottom, click on Save Changes. Then when we go back to the product page and refresh it, the price is now in US dollars.